The air is critically important as a source of disease in hospitals, in healthcare facilities, long-term care facilities, nursing homes. And we're just beginning to realize and pay more attention to the fact that the air can be contributing to disease in patients. And as I look back, uh, there are so many instances where having cleaned the air, having paid attention to the air, we could have made a difference in patients' lives. Physicians, nurses, other clinicians, we all play a part in caring for our patients. Each member of the team has to do his or her part. It's not just as simple, though, as always washing your hands. It's the whole approach to the patient. And if we're not approaching the patient as a team, and as a member of our community, as a member of our family, if you're not thinking of that individual as perhaps one of your loved ones, then we're not doing everything we can. And you're no longer a professional. You're just doing a job. And that's not the way I want medicine to be practiced. So we have to do more, and we have to be smarter than we are now, and we have to be willing to take the next step, to recognize that there's a problem with the air, there's a problem with contamination in our healthcare facilities. And so just simply cleaning the surfaces is not enough. We have to recognize that those new people that are coming into the room are bringing more and more pathogens and spreading them throughout that room. And the air has to be clean because if it's not, those pathogens are going to float around and they're going to contaminate the next patient in that room. All of these issues of contamination had a significant financial impact on the hospital which downstream means you don't have the money to hire nurses, you don't have the money to buy equipment, you don't have the money to have the housekeepers to do some of the terminal cleaning. And the public sees our data. They know how good or how bad we are at protecting them. And they can make choices. If you're not paying attention to the air, then you're not doing everything you can to prevent disease and protect our vulnerable patients. VitaShield, as a product, has a very significant place in the overall care for our patients in prevention of disease. And so hospitals have to be aware that there are more ways to attack this problem and not be complacent, because everyone suffers if we don't.